What's up, it's Ryan. In today's content review series, we're gonna be taking a look at Clay. I chose Clay because it's a sales automation and data enrichment platform I'm already very familiar with. I like the tools and they recently raised $100 million at a $3.1 billion valuation. They're doing a lot of things right. And Clay has a lot of interesting things going on as far as their content goes. I wanna show you here, hovering on the resources tab, all of the different content areas that they're investing in. They've got this university platform, which we'll take a look at. They've got this dossiers platform, which is designed specifically to drive traffic from organic search, long tail queries, and then also to get content that's swooped up into the AI platforms like ChatGPT. A lot of really smart, interesting things they're doing here. They've got a blog, but I notice a lot of their blog content is decaying. It's not being updated as frequently, and thus they're seeing their traffic go down in a lot of these areas. So let's take a really quick tour here, and then we'll get a lay of the land, give them some ideas on how they can improve their content and drive more traffic, especially from their existing content library. So first up, this is their most trafficked piece of content here, their Clay Dossier. And this is a super interesting play. I really like this a lot. You can see here, based on Ahrefs traffic reporting, that they get maybe somewhere around 90 to 100,000 visitors per month to just these dossier pages. And here's an example of what some of these dossier pages are. They're pretty quick question and answer style content pieces. But I wanted to show you real quick some of the other content pieces that Clay's doing really well. They have an entire university. They've branded it really well. It's this really nice user experience. They've got a ton of different content pieces where they teach how to use their product. A lot of really cool stuff is in this university platform, but it's not super designed to attract new potential customers to Clay. There's a lot of good content in here, but it's locked away inside all of these lessons. We'll talk about that later, but we've got here just a quick scan of comparing how much traffic Clay gets to their dossier content. Again, these quick Q&A style posts driving somewhere around 100,000 monthly visitors according to Ahrefs versus the university content as a whole driving much less, something more like 500 to 1,000 monthly visitors. And there's so much good content in here that I know they're leaving a lot of potential traffic and thus leads customers on the table as well. Now, here is the Clay blog. This is perhaps my pick for the saddest area of Clay's resources because there's a lot of good content on their blog, but when we take a peek at Ahrefs traffic estimates for how this blog has been doing over the last two years, we can see here that it had a really quick rise to driving somewhere around, say, 10,000 monthly visitors here in middle of 2024. And then it kind of plateaued for a while. And we've seen that gradually decay over the past year and a half. So their blog as a whole is likely driving something around a thousand to maybe a few thousand monthly visitors. That's very low for how much good content is on this blog. And I wanted to just zoom in, show you guys an individual blog post here that we can give some actionable advice on how you can improve this content. Here we've got this post, AI lead qualification, benefits, challenges, and valuable tips, author, Clay team, published date, November 29, 2024. So a few things right off the bat. I like seeing they've got AI lead qualification at the lead lead of the heading here. So this is the right title approach, at least the start of it. However, there are some factors about this post that are really setting it back and hurting its chances of driving more traffic. First and foremost, author says Clay team. Now, a really big thing about how AI platforms like the ChatGPT's Claude's Perplexities of the World function is that they want to attribute content to individual people. This is essentially the same advice for SEO best practices that have always been the case. Google likes to assign EEAT, authority being the biggest one, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. They want to assign that in part to an individual as much as to the actual domain itself. So this published date is almost a year old at this point. And for anything related to AI and in very competitive software markets, there are hundreds if not thousands of websites and companies that are competing for this particular keyword phrase, AI lead qualification. Not a super easy thing to just rank at the top of results for or to be referenced as a top source in these AI platforms too. Now, they have their headline above the image, which is a good best practice, but they've got this image showing in a way that when I as a new user land on this post, I have to scroll a 
good amount before I even get to the actual content. And AI crawlers, search algorithm crawlers, they don't want to spend a ton of their crawl budget crawling super far down a page. And so the further that someone has to scroll in order to get to the answers they need, the more alarming it is on an individual piece of content. Multiply this across everything on the blog, not one single mention of their primary target keyword phrase, AI lead qualification, in their introductory paragraph. We see AI in lead qualification here, down in the second paragraph, not a direct mention of the keyword phrase, but perhaps good enough to squeak by. However, not having a mention of it in the first paragraph is a major problem when multiplied at scale. They're leaving a lot of traffic potential on the table here. When I land on this post, Look at how far I've already scrolled. I don't have a really clear sense of how to do AI lead qualification. Now, as someone who's searching for help, for advice, for templates, for step-by-step -step walkthroughs, I just want to know, how do I do this AI lead qualification thing? Give me a system, give me a process. And this post could be much more straight to the point than it currently is. This section is pretty good. Overall, this post is more than half, somewhere around half, specifically about their product and how to use their product. Now, there's nothing wrong with that if this is a product education post, but as something top of the funnel that the content team arguably wants to drive traffic and leads and signups from, they're missing the point of this type of educational content. When it comes to excellent content marketing, you really have to give, give, give. And when your content is too personally product focused, that creates kind of a conflict of interest in the eyes of search engines and in the eyes of LLC. Limbs. And so I want to show you exactly what I do to improve this piece of content. I grab the URL there and we're going to pop over to refresh. This is my tool that automatically updates, optimizes, and improves existing content libraries. We connect and integrate with websites so that we can automatically do this across your entire content library to improve your site's rankability and get your content at maximum traffic driving potential at all times. Refresh automatically detected the right keyword phrase for this article, so I'll just go ahead and confirm this. And now what we're going to be doing behind the scenes as we import all of the content from that Clay blog post is we're going out and we're running a live SERP analysis to understand all of the pieces of content that are currently ranking on the first page of Google search results that is going to give us some really important insights. And here we go. We can see now that the SEO recommendations are ready, we have a pretty clear plan based on what AI believes will help this content get updated, optimized, and ranking higher again. Remove Moving duplicate content sections, it identified some stuff that was duplicate content. I like that. I'm going to add that to the plan. Just adding a key takeaway section for scannability and SEO, that's a no brainer. This was something I didn't see inside the post. And then it says expanding content to include some specific qualification frameworks. This gets to the core of what I was talking about. This article didn't previously give me a really clear step-by-step -step framework to follow. So I want to add that to the plan. Some optimizations of title, meta descriptions for keywords and click-through rate. Love that. I'm going to add that to the plan too. And then incorporating a section on other AI lead qualification tools, which is also very smart, like Clay, like Drift, Closebot, Factors.ai. It's really important that content come across as at least less biased than what this original clay post looked like. So this is all pretty good. And if I wanted to add some more specific improvement suggestions to this plan, if I was on the clay content team, I could pop in here and do so. But I like how this plan looks. I'm going to hit optimize and then we're going to get started. And so behind the scenes now, our AI is figuring out which sections to add, where to add them correctly. And then we've got a really clear map here of all the most important keyword phrases for this topic, showing that only a handful of them are already mentioned. So there's a lot of room for improvement here that we're gonna see this score tick up as we go. Now we can see we jumped really quickly up to 70 just with a couple of sections that were already added, the key takeaways. This one was really important for this particular keyword phrase. And I wanna show you something over here on the SERP tab. We've got some nice keyword data that shows the trend for this particular keyword phrase. It's gone up a lot this year and it's still maybe riding about as high as it ever has been before. So this is an important piece of content, again, on that informational search intent, suggested competitions on the low side, and then monthly search volume here, average cost per click is high. So getting those top organic spots, becoming the top recommended tool in ChatGPT and such is going to be really useful here. And we can see they're not currently ranking anywhere in the top 10 spots for this. So 
this piece of content looks pretty good to me. We've got a lot more stuff mentioned in here that filled the gaps that I recognized when I just scanned over the content. So I'll go ahead and click that share button. We'll make sure that this one is eligible to be shared and we're ready to rock and roll. Now I'm going to send this over to the Clay team because I want to see them improve their content and drive more traffic. If you would like your content refreshed, hit me up, drop a comment below this video or shoot me an email to Ryan at itsrefresh.com and feel free to come take refresh for a spin. You can sign up for your free trial account at itsrefresh.com.